technological space terrors of colossal size, destroyers of worlds, harvesters of innumerable civilizations. The Reapers are the most fearsome beings to ever exist in the Mass Effect universe. Today we're going to take a look at their origins and who made them, and for what purpose. But for that, I'll give you a short summary about who or what they are. The first time the word Reaper gets uttered is when Saren Artarius is under investigation by Shepard and the Council. By then, the Reapers were a mere myth. They were extragalactic boogeymen, believed by the Geth to be the pinnacle of machine evolution, gods if you will, that exterminated the Prothean race 50,000 years prior to the events of Mass Effect. Not far into the first Mass Effect do we realize that the Geth's beliefs were real. Are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. The Reapers did exist, they harvested the Prothean race, then left behind one of their own, Sovereign, to keep a close eye on the galactic evolution, while his brethren slept in dark space. During our journey in the Mass Effect trilogy, we, as Commander Shepard, fight tooth and nail to find a way to stop the Reapers from returning. In Mass Effect 1, Sovereign tries to forcibly open a gateway by using the Citadel as a shortcut. Shepard and friends stop Sovereign from accomplishing its goal, destroying it and locking the Reapers out of the galaxy. So then what? Well, in Mass Effect 2, the mysterious collectors start kidnapping entire human colonies for a nefarious purpose. Shepard and friends soon find out that the Collectors are repurposed Protheans, who are now slaves to the Reapers. By collecting humans, the Collectors were building a fresh new Reaper from the organic human material, melting people into paste in the most horrifying of ways. Shepard and friends find a way to stop them, and during their visit to the Collector base, they manage to destroy the human Reaper, and either destroy the Collector base or cleanse it of its enslaved inhabitants. With their backup plan thwarted, the Reapers start moving toward the galaxy, starting a long journey from dark space. Harbinger, the mastermind, the strongest, the prime instigator of it all, spearheaded the invasion with his brethren in tow. But Harbinger was in fact not the actual leader. He was only the first. Yes, the Reapers did in fact have a beginning, contrary to what Sovereign had stated. We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. When, then, was Harbinger made, and for what purpose? Well, let's explore just that. Millions, if not billions of years ago, life had already started flourishing across the galaxy. Among the first races to ever exist, there arose one race in particular that would prove to be perhaps the most powerful organic species to ever exist. This species, their true name unknown to us, is speculated to have evolved on an aquatic planet, along with at least one additional separate sapient species. These two species may have existed in harmony, but in the end, the second species became thralls to this mighty first race, which we'll hence call Leviathan. The Leviathans were colossal in size, surely too big to walk on land because of their monstrous mass. The Thrall species must have assisted the Leviathans in some way, helping them build and create technology. The Leviathans may have been able to instruct their Thralls because of a form of thought transfer, similar to QEC, or Quantum Entanglement Communication, which is the way that starships communicate with each other. It is not known whether this was something they had organically or if it was built for or by the Leviathans. But there is reason to suggest that they harbored this ability from natural evolution, much like the Rachni. 
the Leviathans started to travel across the galaxy, uplifting many races from their planets, but also demanding tribute from these races. That then became Thrall species. The Leviathans were worshipped as gods, and their power was absolute. They do not seem to have been cruel, only very demanding. For an untold time, the Leviathans ruled the galaxy, but they had started to notice a problematic pattern. The lesser races, or the Thrall species, had a tendency to create artificial intelligence that soon rebelled against their organic creators. Many of these creator species were destroyed by their own creations, something that concerned the Leviathans greatly. As the Leviathan that Shepard meets states, So, in an effort to stop this, the Leviathans themselves created a superior AI that would help them in figuring out a solution to this issue. To preserve life at all costs. This would prove to be a fatal mistake and the beginning of the downfall of the Leviathans. The AI proceeded with the task it was given, figure out the solution to stop synthetic creations from destroying their creators. For some time, the AI watched and recorded galactic history, while also sending an army of created pawns in order to collect genetic data from different species. One day, the AI had gathered enough information about the cycles of life, and it made a decision. A decision that was swift, and executed without mercy. Through sheer calculated brutality, the AI used its created pawns to directly assault the Leviathans. It was a slaughter. The Leviathans were powerful, but they had underestimated the intelligence of their own creation. By collecting the Leviathans' genetic material, the AI proceeded in making an avatar, a tool that would become its instrument of galactic preservation, the very first Reaper, Harbinger. Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. Through Harbinger, the AI started to harvest the remaining technological races of the galaxy. A few of the Leviathans managed to flee, but most of them were dead. The remaining Leviathans realized that it was useless to resist, and so, they hid. Only observing the history of the galaxy through hidden technology. The background to the Leviathan and the AI which is commonly referred to as the Catalyst, kind of tells us that in reality, the Leviathans were not the creators to the Reapers. They were only the cause for their creation. The Catalyst was the true creator and mastermind. Some of you guys might be thinking, hey, didn't you make a video on the Leviathans before? And well, yeah, I did, but that was more of a discussion of whether we'll see them in the future maybe in Mass Effect 4. This video is mainly dedicated to new fans, and then again, I just love me some Reaper lore. Thank you guys for watching as always. Have a great day in the sun, and Sven Squad. Mr. Holton, out.